Hey the people, welcome back to another episode of All The Mods Expert. I hope everybody's doing alright, I'm doing pretty good. And I may have prepared and done some things. Like, there's no more uh, windmill over there, they're now in the back of the base over there. I think it would look cool. Uh, I've also done the lower uh, entrance thing, doodler, and everything. So pretty much now we've got space at the bottom and space at the top. Uh, everything's been connected, and also if we now look into my inventory, I've been busy. Witch, blaze, zombie pigments. Uh, zombie pigments, just to show you. Uh, how can I do that? Uh, rotten flesh. How do you get rotten flesh? You can get it from mobs, which include a zombie horse. Uh, this one. The reason I went with zombie pigments is. They do, they do not drop any carrots and potatoes, and I didn't want to throw those away, so I just decided to go with the pigment. Uh, the blaze, well, it's because, you know, blaze stuff. <laughs> and, well, the witch is just because uh, if you look at this, well, it's pretty much like the go-to thing to get, like, glowstone, redstone, and gunpowder, which... You would be surprised how gunpowder we might need it in the future. Um, so yeah, I've been a little bit busy just doing this. Uh, I've also prepared a couple of things which we're gonna go take a look at. At the bottom over here I've got a chest with what we're gonna work on today and they are called drawers. Yes, we're gonna install a bunch of drawers at the bottom over there. I've already passed the cable behind over there. Uh, and this is going to be pretty much our main system. So, when I say I've prepared stuff, you can see that here I've got mnemonic ingots already done. Uh, these are not going to be used right now, but they're going to be used to make a crafter. Because, you know, a crafter is actually pretty useful when you need one. Uh, so, alright, over here, what do we need? Well, of course we're going to need a bunch of upgrades, which I'm probably going to use... Uh, I think... Which one is this one? Oh, that's just one. I thought it was... Oh, I think they changed the recipe. It used to be lead for this one, I believe. Uh, I would like to use this one, but I think I need to get a little bit more emerald for this. Of course, we're going to need to use the void upgrade to remove everything that is extra. Because we don't want it to go in the system. So, alright, but what we want is, we first want a drawer controllers. And yes, I did the pewter ingot. Uh, the pewter is lead, bismuth, copper, and tin. And well, the bismuth, chemical extractor, everything else, you know the drill. Uh, this thing, pretty easy to craft. And this thing is the iron force, so... Treating wood, iron plates, iron rods, and the wooden storage in the middle. So, pretty easy. With a drawer, of course. Uh, so, I think I'm going to use a normal drawers for this one. Bam. Alright. Uh, this, I kept a couple because you're going to need it for the morphing tool, which I don't know what it is. Uh, if you guys know, let me know, because I don't know what a morpho tool is. Uh, I should probably go check the wiki for that one. Alright, so we've got the drawer controller, which is pretty much the main part we need. The next part we need is this. The compacting drawer. Uh, pretty much what I want from this one is a 32 compacting drawers. 32 compacting drawers? Aw, oh, yeah. So, now we can go at the bottom. Uh, where the chest is, is where I'm gonna put the controller. And... This is where you place your storage. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a priority. This is a lot higher than the ones at the top. So, it's pretty much gonna... Uh, it's gonna put things in here first. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna place these around. Uh, I think I'm gonna go all the way to the roof. Oh, that, that I knew was gonna happen. Um, okay. Things like this. Bam bam, we've got 17 left. Let's do top to bottom. Alright, seven. I think I'm gonna place six. One, two, three. And one, two, three. So here are pretty much going to be. Uh, wait. 
Those are compacting to recover. Okay, we're gonna place two more. There we go. All right. Then we're gonna place. Uh, if I remember the drawer controller, does it say? It kind. It goes, I think, twelve blocks to the side. So we gotta be careful to what we put. Um. Oh, again, I should go top to bottom. We're gonna go maybe like this, three wide. Like so. Alright, then we're gonna have twos. So, if you don't know, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, if you don't know, the more drawers there is, the less amount you can put in them. That's why the upgrades can be nice. These can hold 16, I think these can hold 64 stacks. And these can hold 32 of each. So 32 of the one at the top, 32 of the one at the bottom. And... Uh, oh, I didn't think I was gonna run out. Um, okay, maybe we'll remove this line. Uh, by the way, I have an indestructible shovel now. Uh, this this guy over here is unbreakable, so that is pretty cool. There we go, and let's do these now. So what I want to do is place pretty much the things that are important uh, in the place where we can have more, and the things that are not important in the place that we don't have more. I think that was three that I did? Yes. Okay, so we still have a couple left, that's pretty cool. Uh, but, alright. So, what does that mean? That means, let's say, I take this one here, and we'll see at the same time if it works at the distance. Uh, and then we right-click here. It's gonna put them in here. As you can see, I've got five. And I can left-click to get them. But it's also going to mean that... Uh, if, let's say, I place it here, place that one there, I will be able to see it at the top, because now it's part of our system. So if I go white, I've got six. If I take them, they will no longer be at the bottom. Like so. So that means that all this can be then uh, used. And what is cool with the compacting drawers is that you can put pretty much your ingots, uh, and this is pretty much what I'm going to use it for. Uh, okay, we're going to place things aside, because I don't want to place uh, these things in my system so far. Alright, good. Okay, so let's say we're going to go for 10, because I only want 10. Uh, okay, we're going to take the 10. And we're going to place it here. So as you can see now, we get nuggets, blocks, and this. And then we can double click on this, and everything is in there. So this is why it's cool, because it f if it can make a block, it's going to make the blocks. So you can see we get 64 blocks, 582, and this. But it counts as the block. So that means that we might have 16 stacks, but it needs to be 16 stacks of blocks and not 16 stacks of nuggets. And it's going to allow us to have more space. And over here, it's also going to show as ingot. I believe it's supposed to show as block and also as nuggets in both. Well, the three of them. So now what we're going to do is we're going to need to do that for all of them. And I'm also going to do it for the alloys, for everything else. So what I'm going to do now is place everything that I can at the bottom. Everything that I want to be placed at the bottom will come here. And I will bring you guys back after. Because that's not just this that we're doing this episode. What I want to do is do the spawners. I want to have something automated because... Well, I can't do it right now. If we go in Ender Chests... The recipe is being changed a little bit, but this, not hard to craft, 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 it's nether. So, pretty much, I've got materials for four, which we're going to be able to use to transport items from somewhere else where we're going to have our farms to here, 
uh, where we're going to have our storage. So, all right, let me move pretty much everything that I have here at the bottom and I will bring you guys back after. All right, guys, so I've moved most of the things. Uh, there's still some things over there, a little bit over here, but uh, I can show you a little bit what it looks like. So it is pretty huge and like pretty much all the drops for mobs are here except for uh, ender pearls because they stacked 16 so I want to have more stacks. Uh, of course, I didn't put any upgrades so far. There's still some spots that are empty. Uh, I still don't know what I'm going to put. Like here, I want to put like the normal version and the empowered version. Uh, I just don't have the other ones. And over here, I'm probably going to put mechanism things. Uh, I've got the, print, uh, the printed things over here. Some pistons because they're useful. And we need it for like a lot of recipes. But... Uh, I need to do this. We, we need to, to get onto this now. I think it's the way to go. Uh, so for this, we will need to look at uh, probably... Let's look at uh, gold. This is the reason why I need a crafter over there. Because I want to put all the zombie hearts into gold nuggets. And then the gold nuggets into gold ingot to send them back here. So that's why we're going to get a crafter going. And if I remember correctly, I've got all this stuff for it, if I use the right... Oh, oh, wait. Yeah, I placed all the ingots that I didn't want at the bottom over here. I forgot to place them back. Uh, we should be able to do this, 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 this. This can go also, this can go in there, this can go. Alright, so let's do this again. Bam. And then we're gonna go for this. Uh, do I have sticks? I don't have sticks, but uh, I'm pretty sure we can do this. Get some redstone. Go in on top with the sticks at the bottom. And bam, a couple of sticks. So now we can do this. Bam, we get the crafter. And of course, I'm going to go to the top crafter. Crafter tier 3. Uh, I also made some p one power cell because I knew we were going to need it. Perfect. Uh, this thing needs to be linked. So if we go here, it's linked. Perfect. Uh, Alright, one thing that I completely forgot because I'm an idiot is I forgot to check where uh, we could probably go check. Uh, let's go home home, sleep the night off. Uh, and then, of course. This, like I said, it happens a lot. It happens pretty much every time that I get kicked. All right, we're back in. Uh, so that way I made home spawners over here. And I forgot to check like a brilliant person. <laughs> this fits in one chunk. I'm using four. This is where I need to change this. So I'm going to have to modify this to move it into one chunk. Because it's stupid to chunk load four chunks when you can chunk load one for the same reason. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the four spawners. There's the Wither Skeleton, there's the uh, Witch, Blaze and Zombie Pigment. And they're all pretty much going to go at the same place. Uh, but I'm going to move this uh, after. So let's go home. Perfect. Uh, Presume we can remove this. So, alright. If we want to do this, so we have the crafter, uh, we're gonna need something to transport the items and it needs to be quick. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into conduits. Uh, and we're probably gonna go with even like speed upgrades because, you know, we can make some. So let's see the conduits, the item conduits. We need to make some of that with, I think it's grout? Huh, they, were, they changed the recipe. But all right, we're gonna get some grout going. Uh, then we're gonna do this. Perfect. Give me some and I'm lagging. Uh, let's go smelt those into binder 
thingy for the cables. And bam, you can go, bam. Should have some electrum left in here. All right, let's this work. We're gonna continue with everything we need. Uh, to move the mobs, we're gonna use Dark Utilities plates. They are pretty great dark utils. Uh, I was actually using one of those to kill uh, things. I was using the damage trap, but we're going to use the vector plates, which are these here. So we're going to need like a bunch. So maybe this, and we're just going to go to the second level because we don't need the third level. There we go. Uh, I'm thinking and I'm going to need more than that because it's a 9 by like 12. So let's do this, bam. Let's go like this, second stack should be enough. I, I hate the lag. Okay, so now we've got this. We're gonna need now to do something special. We need a diamond spike. And the diamond spike is special because it needs the flawless diamonds. And the flawless diamond needs an atomic calculator, which we can craft. And for now, it's going to be really stupid. We're going to place that here just because I think it needs power. I'm not sure. Okay, so to make this, we need to make this, we need to make that, we need to make this thing here. Four, five, six, I believe. And then we get some diamonds. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here, here, and here. There we go. We've got our six diamonds. Well, flawless diamonds, actually. Then we're going to make three swords, you know, when we have sticks. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of sticks when the witch farm is going to be made. Uh, Alright, so let's do this. Three of those. Two, three. Let's craft this thing here. Diamond Spike. I believe we can enchant the Diamond Spike, but I'm not 100% certain for this. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a couple of stacks of this. And we're gonna go grab a couple of books to see if we can enchant the Spike. I don't know if they modified this, you used to be able to put looting on top of it. So if we get any looting, that would be great. Uh, let's do this. So Unbreaking, Withering, Iron Wall, Soulbound, Fortune, Soul... Oh, we could put Soul. Okay, so nothing here. Soul, Auto Smelt, Power, Power, Soul. Unbreaking, Iron Wall, Withering, Efficiency. Wow, we're really... Oh, this one has a lot. Reading, that that should be good. I really have nothing. Reaper 4 is good, though. Okay, Sharpness and Mending. I don't want to put Mending. Wrecking. Sharpness. Uh... <laughs> this is ridiculous. We really have like nothing good. We got Fortune 2. Sharpness, sharpness. <laughs> Looting 2. Well, I guess that's gonna do. Sharpness. I think we got enough sharpness now. We can try. I, I'm not even sure we can do it, so I should probably try to put like the looting two on top of it first. So let's see, can I put this? I can't. So, alright, well we can't, so that means uh, the books are useless. <laughs> I would put them back, but the inventory is full. So for the moment, wait, please tell me. Uh, Okay, we'll put them in here. Okay, so we pretty much have everything. We just need the cables and the upgrades. So let's take this, make the cables. Then we're going to go back. Well, I'm going to remake the hole in, in a perfect chunk so that we don't chunk load too much. Uh, 
All right, so this thing here can do this. All right, so we'll do that. Should be enough. We'll need filters. Um, just normal filters, I believe, are going to be fine. And we're going to need the upgrades. Uh, speed upgrades. This thing. Eight, I believe, might be enough. We'll see when we're there. All right, guys, I'm going to go there, make uh, the hole at uh, the right place, and uh, I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, so I prepared the thing over there, but uh, we need to work on this first. So it's not too complicated what we're going to do. We're simply going to go with two diamonds, uh, and this is going to be just to make it private, so it's ours. Uh, because if we don't put it private, well, there's one more person playing on the server. Well, he hasn't played in a while because he's been looking also for an apartment. And uh, he's been busy, like a busy bee. And uh, then we're going to be ready to go over there. Actually, no. We need Hopper, this thing here. And we need a chest. Uh, let, let's use an oak chest like this. So let's do home spawners. <laughs> this thing when you teleport, it's crazy. All right, I've already placed the plates. Uh, oh, that was a bad idea. I already placed the diamond spike. Um, there we go. <laughs> now that should help just to get out. Um, we'll be able to place the spawners soon, but let's do this first. So we're going to have the chest here. We're gonna have that on top. This can still be open, so it's okay. It's gonna grab the items that are gonna be gathered from uh, the diamond spike over here. Uh, this then is going to. <laughs> I was scared there. Uh, it's going to go over here. Uh, over there, we're gonna place uh, round robin disabled. So it's going to grab the first entry first. So. That means we're going to put this here, we're going to place the ender chest there. Uh, this thing over here is going to insert, this thing here is going to insert and extract. Um, yes, that makes sense. Kind of. <laughs> then there's going to be something super far. That will be the garbage collector. Uh, that means don't drop your tools if you come here. Uh, normally, after you're done, you shouldn't be having any issue. All right, so we kind of need to set up the spawners to get the items. This here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get this, that. The only issue is we might need... To have a better filter. Uh, yeah, just because there's going to be more items. But we need this, so we need the slice and splice, which I haven't done yet. Which I think I can actually craft. Uh, Alright, so let's go get the forced spawner, which is all actually already like in place at spawn. Well, at our base, not at spawn. And we're going to place them under. Uh, of course, we're going to have to put some ceiling on top here. So, I was kind of uh, disappointed. I thought like the pigments would drop swords, but it turns out they don't. So, I'm a little bit disappointed. I really thought they would. In a minute, we won't see anything in here. Uh, maybe I've got torches? Yes, I do. Let's just slide up a little bit just so I can finish placing those. Go. Uh, 
Ah, keep I keep doing this every time. So we're not super far from the base over here, uh, but we're far enough that we're not loading it when we are at the base. Uh, if you look at the map at the top right, you can see that there's like the little blue part. Uh, we're here and the base is there, so it's pretty cool. Okay, like so. This there. So we're going to be able to turn it on, turn it off. Okay, let's go home. <laughs> Seriously, I think it's because I'm landing on carpet or something. I'm not sure. I know that's... Oh, seriously. <sighs> Alright, well... Come on, log in. This is annoying, like really annoying, and it keeps happening. Every time. Boom, okay, we're back. Other side. I should probably put my teleport on the in the base. Oh, also, we're gonna have to chunk load the base. This thing, this place here is not chunk loaded, and the back needs to be. So, all right, we're gonna have to change a couple of chunk loading. Okay, so let's see. We need this. We need that. Oh, wrong thing. This, this, that. Yeah, I can. All right. So we pretty much just need to make two of these. And then go again. Two of these. Then we're gonna be able to craft that thing. Perfect. And the reason I made two of these is because, well, you need it to uh to craft. Okay, so we're gonna need like a couple of sand. We're going to need solarium, zombie head, and redstone. Uh, let's make two. So, solarium. Uh, a zombie head. Luckily, I've got some because... Ah, oh, seriously. I can't type sometimes. There you go. Two zombie head. I like the entrance on the side. By the way, I have those. The interdiction torches. If something tries to come in, you won't be able to. Uh... There we go, bam, bam, bam. And we need some silicon. Uh, I changed the machine over here. Rusher, right there. This should give us some silicon. We're gonna be able to put it there. It's slow though. It needs to go quicker. Let's put those in there. Uh, I don't want to go check them out, so we're going to place that uh, in there to make it go faster. Perfecto! Let's put this in there. This... Okay, come on. Bam. Perfect. Now let's go craft that filter that we're going to be able to place. Uh, just because it's gonna allow us more items. It's really the only reason we need it. Okay, so this with that. Wait, what? Put the redstone in there. Okay, um, spawners. Okay, maybe it's not the carpet. This here needs to be an advent. There we go. That's more like it. Ah. Uh, Match metadata, match NBT, whitelist. Sounds about right. For the moment, this thing is only going to be uh, insert. So it's not going to put any items around here. Uh, this thing's going to need power. So. There. It's going to be an out. So it should power this thing. Perfect. And over here, we're going to have like one recipe. And I forgot to bring the spawner. <laughs> yep. Okay, let, let's do the other spawners that are in here. So I actually need to bring pretty much all of it with me. Okay, bam, bam, bam. Bring those in the here. 
Okay, so... Oh wait, is that... Oh, really? That's one too high. They won't be a uh, zombie... Uh, not zombie... Uh, skeletons won't be able to pass, so I need to drop this by one. Alright guys, I'm gonna set these up, drop this by one, I'll bring guys back just after. <laughs> wow, I didn't. I thought I mined correctly. Alright, so I've pretty much done with all this. Uh, I had to lower this, uh, I placed the fourth spawner. There was a tiny problem, I forgot that it's off when this is on. So when I started it, there was two big holes here. And well, pretty much everything exploded and then I had to fight around 60 mobs over here. Uh, as it turns out, this thing is not enough. Not big enough. So what I want to see is I'm going to place every drop that I can in there. And what's not uh, placed already that's not anywhere uh, will need to be placed also I was thinking about the hats uh, let's let's turn it on for a second one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay ten seconds should be enough for a couple of them to just completely die there we go. So in here we should have more items. Alright, so let's see. Sulfur. I do have sulfur here. So, okay, it got mixed. So these three I don't have. So we will put them on the top. So, alright, so let's do this. Bam, bam, and bam. Uh, at the moment this thing is not going anywhere. Uh, okay, so we place that there. They are gone. So we need this. Uh, this thing here, I was thinking about it, and there isn't really anything to do with this. Except it goes into that. Uh, it can be turned into biofuel, which is kind of infinite way of getting biofuel. That would be actually pretty good. <laughs> I could send this into our farm and we didn't even need a farmer. This thing's gonna produce so much rotten flesh, but for the moment it's not gonna make any. Uh, we need withered dust, so we're gonna send this in the garbage. We're gonna put this here and we're gonna put this there. So all of this should be working now. Uh, Except, well, everything else won't be going anywhere. Uh, the witches did not drop any, any hat. Okay, let's let's stick to the bottom and let's see if we get anything. Oh boy, that's a lot. Can we do a lot of things with these? Okay, there we go. So they will drop. Okay, uh, the widow ribs. I thought. I thought I had that somewhere. Oh, no, I do not. Uh, to be honest, I don't really mind not having bottles. <laughs> so I might just get rid of the bottles. Also, this thing here. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. So it's not gonna grab bottles. Alright, I think we can stop it. There's too many items. Uh, this thing is efficient though. How, how much stuff do we have? 150 something. It's dead? Yeah, there's a lot of items over there. Okay, so like I said, this guy can be transformed into redstone, gunpowder, glowstone, sugar, bottles. So maybe we should send them into here. Oh wait. Uh, there we go, so this is gonna go in there, perfect. Maybe we should send them in here and turn it into redstone. Or gunpowder, one of the two. Hmm. I'm thinking... Redstone. Yeah, we're gonna go for redstone. 
So let's grab another recipe. I think this is redstone. Yes, it is. So it's going to use all and it's going to go external apply. And here we're going to tell it to take in this. So there you go. It's going to grab redstone. It's going to then send it to here. Perfect. It might actually be faster <laughs> than this can handle. So I think I'm going to leave eight and place one upgrade here. Self-feed disable. Red. Perfect. Okay. I think this will work. There's a head here. I think maybe... Sh should we keep the potion? If I change my mind, it's going to work. Okay. So now we need to set up this thing at the base uh, first. Wait. I see creepers on the map. I need to chunk load this area. So now it's chunk loaded. Uh, let's go home. Let's try to sleep. Maybe this time I won't get kicked off the server for the seventh time in a row. Oh, look, I got lucky. Okay. Let's go over there and let's set this up. I believe the best way would be to have uh, an import boss with some speed upgrades. Import this thing. Import boss and then speed upgrade. Where is it? Uh, no, acceleration cards, they are called. This will need four. This one, two, three, four. Perfect. All right, so this thing is going to go here. Uh, let's just make sure we are ready to receive all the items. I believe all these are placed at the bottom, so we should be fine. Wow, this thing is hard to break. And bam, so it should start getting items. Yes. Then we're going to place this in here. And there we go. Everything is in the system. And if we go at the bottom, we should see that, let's say, sugar went up to 73. I've already placed all the all the, the upgrades for uh, void upgrades. So if we get too many, it's just going to go uh, nowhere. Uh, one thing I will have to do is a spawner for endermans. That's the one thing I forgot. So that's probably something I will add. Uh, but let's look at the heads. We've got 27. So let's go back to the spawners. Oh yeah, I forgot that this is kind of all clogged up. Uh, wait, how did you get out? Okay, maybe we will have to, to you know, block the entrance. Let's go home. Uh, we need a trash can. Trash. So my sword is broken, I think. Yeah, it is. Uh, people have told me that uh, when you get Manulian, you can't uh, put unbreaking on it. So I'm not even going to try. Trash can. Bam. Now we can go back. Uh, we're going to grab glass. One piece of glass. <laughs> The crazy stuff. Place it here. That way nothing is going to fall away. Alright, so... There we go. This is going to insert. Oh, I can't look in there. I can do this though. If we shift, we can see. The items go so quick. Well, it's because it's been palling up, so it's normal. Alright, is this thing working? Seems to be working really well. Are we getting the items in here? Yes, they are getting through. So, which is weird because... You know what's weird? Is that nothing's... <laughs> there's nothing chunk loaded over there. 
So I don't know how the item are going in the system. <laughs> Maybe they were actually not going in. Uh, but uh, let's see. 32 heads, 33. The items are coming in, guys. Oh yeah. So that means we have farms that actually work. I'm gonna get plenty of this, plenty of that, even if this doesn't really have any reason except tiny potatoes. Is there something to do with tiny potatoes? Making a potato mask, of course. Uh, but yeah, this is working really well. So I'm pretty happy. And that is going to be it for today, guys. So I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. If you loved it, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.